And intro. Oh, wait, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, is you, buddy. Go. G'day, guys. We're Man here. Welcome back to the workshop. Um, we're doing some more little random quickies. Ooh, er. Uh, at Adam's place. Say good day, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, er, indeed. Ooh, er. Um, and given that we're doing aerospace stuff lately. Mm, drinky poos. Sorry. You, you needed that. I needed that. I needed <laughs> to stay awake. Um, so given that we're doing aerospace stuff lately and we are either before or slightly after this going to go into um, the bigger scale. So the, the capital scale guys, I thought I would bring up a couple of little um, missiles that I found. Uh, now you can get capital scale missiles that, that you can fire from capital ships. Uh, I think these guys are very similar to that, but they're basically bombs. So your, your bomb munitions can be loaded onto all sorts of things. As long as they can carry them, they can, they can take them sort of thing. Right. So I think if you get some bigger, like, um, maybe support units or um, like air units uh, because it is a bomb rack, um, then maybe you could you could carry these as well. Um, what is that anti-ship missile? See if it's listed in here. Um, but they are basically anti-ship or anti-capital ship missiles. Okay, um, so they're, they're pretty much just an arrow four missile, but beefed up to the max. Mm. Okay. So they're, they're bigger warhead, bigger, um, uh, payload overall, uh, larger actual missile and big booster engines to take them into space and, and chasing after things that are going hundreds of kilometers a minute. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so the anti-ship missile, uh, is a bulky, bulky, bulky boy. He takes up six bomb slots per missile when mounted on an external hard point and are unavailable for use by standard Arrow 4 launchers. So they're kind of Arrow 4, but they're not because you can't actually use them in an Arrow 4. They, they take up bomb slots and six. And if you remember everything we've been talking about with bomb slots, you know that every five bomb slots you take up, you lose one from either your safe thrust or your uh, cruise movement point, if you're using that option. Yeah. Uh, and you can only fit one slot per five tons of your unit. So, I mean, you've got to be at least 30 tons and you're going to lose a minimum of two off your movement. Yeah. So that is not good, but these things are pretty cool. I was going to say the trade-off. <laughs> however, the trade-off is... <laughs> <laughs> so they, they function in the same way as air-to-arrow missiles, air-to-air -air arrow missiles, which are um, a um, anti-air missile um, kind of the arrow bigger. form missile thing. Yeah. Yeah, but these are way bigger. Uh, so when an AS missile delivers a successful attack, it inflicts three points of capital scale damage. That is 30 points of standard scale damage. Now, we've mentioned the scale differences between... Uh, aerospace, big scale aerospace and normal everyday stuff. But basically one point of capital scale is 10 points of standard. Yeah. And vice versa. So three points of capital scale damage to the target's armor. In addition, the attacker rolls for a penetrating critical hit as if it was a Barracuda missile. Now with, bar um, with these capital scale missiles, you get a critical chance if you get a hit and the critical chance is based on which missile hits. So the Barracuda gets an 11 plus. So it isn't fantastic. You have to get an 11 or a 12 to get a critical, but it's still that's a through armor critical. It's free. So you roll that, mm. you roll that after you've scored your yep. hit. So it's a separate roll. It's not yep. based on the actual roll to hit. Uh, you, as long as you hit, you get that chance. You get that chance. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't matter what, whether you um, you don't have to roll you get it or not, if you, you, yeah. you have to hit it to order in order to get the chance. Right, cool, yeah. got it. Um, it's it, there's a bunch of stuff that gives you through armor criticals, and they all work basically the same thing. As long as you hit, you get a shot, whether you penetrate the armor or not. Oh, that's so cool. I think these ones give you if that 
if that lucky hit, if you hit with this on a 12, presumably you'd still get a critical chance as well. So you'd get a critical chance for a 12, you get a critical chance for a missile hit. So you'd get that. And oh, if you yeah. happen to do uh, more than their damage threshold, which with a three is not likely, but it's it's still technically possible. It's, it's technically possible. They'd have to have, I think, less than 30 points of armor on that location. If they've got less than 30 points of armor on that location, that would be beat their Goes. damage threshold, I'm pretty sure. Go back and watch our critical hits one. I think mm. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's right. So if you also manage to beat their damage threshold with those three points, then that would be a third critical chance. So all of these critical chances add up. But as long as you hit armor with this, that location gets a critical hit chance, and that's an 11 plus. So an 11 or a 12 will do it. Um, they suffer a plus four or two hit modifier against any unit lighter than 500 tons yeah, and, may not, <laughs> yeah, and may not target ground units weighing 100 tons or less. My Atlas scouts yeah. are safe. Yes. So, un un <laughs> unfortunately, you can't go out wiping out stingers and wasps with these things, which it would. 30 points of damage would just chew through it, but you can't target them. They have to be over 100 tons in, in order to target a ground unit. And uh, over five, uh, under 500, they get a plus four for um, any other units. Yeah. Uh, so against targets 500 tons and up or against buildings, mobile structures and terrain hexes, they suffer no modifiers. AS missiles may only be used by units traveling in space or at altitude three or higher on the low altitude map. So they are like you, you drop them and they drop and then they start up and they get... And they yeah. take off and, and do their thing. All right. So these are ones that you're going to have to put on like a shuttle or a, a small craft of some description, or that you're going to have to strap to a big support vehicle that can go onto the low altitude map. Uh, so they have to be able to reach at least altitude three or higher. Um, you've seen the low altitude map, hopefully across our aerospace stuff. Uh, they're affected by point defense systems in the same man manner as capital missiles. We haven't gone into point defense, but that's a capital scale thing, right? Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. So point defense will go into when we get into the higher scale, like warships and jump ships and things like that. That'll, that'll be mentioned, but just know these are affected by that. Okay. Uh, and then you have basically the same thing, but it's an electronic warfare missile. So it's an anti-ship electronic warfare missile, an ASEW missile. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have we confused you yet? Um, so it's basically the same thing, six bomb slots per missile. Um, it functions in the same way as the air to arrow again, delivers a successful attack, and inflicts no damage to the target. Instead, it imposes a plus four modifier to all weapon attacks made by the target vessel with weapons whose arc cover the hex side where it hit. In the event of a hit that falls on a line, the defender chooses. For example, if an ASEW hits a warship through the four left hex side, all four left and left broadside weapons suffer a plus four modifier, but the nose, aft, left, aft, and all right side weapons remain unaffected. This effect begins at the end of the weapon attack phase and lasts until the end phase of the turn after the attack. So you've got one full weapon attack phase where your electronics have been fried, they've gone haywire, and you, everything on that location, that firing arc, has a plus four modifier. Yeah, so it, it, it affects the unit. It doesn't stay in the hex per se. It hits the unit. And yeah, so it, the it hits all the weapons on that on unit, that side. on that side on of that, that side, unit, yeah. and it follows that unit along. That's so very handy. for that whole next turn, they're going to have a plus four on that side, that on that location. Handy. And you would need something like that, because I tell you what, the weapons on those ships are monstrous. Yes. A, a solid hit with multiples of these can give you the turn or two that you need to just like do some serious damage without yeah. taking return fire. Um, and a plus four is not nothing. That's 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 really uh, that's useful. a big modifier. Yeah. 
additionally, any naval C3 or naval comm suite systems on a target struck by an ASEW missile are rendered ineffective, and any attempt to jump will be delayed but not aborted while the electronic static clears. These effects last until the end phase of the turn after the attack. So if you're playing a scenario-based thing where they're trying to jump out of the system or something like that, right? If the, the uh, uh, eventual goal of the enemy is to jump a unit out, then this is one way to delay them. To delay them, yeah. No, that's really handy. Um, they suffer the standard plus four against anything lighter than 500 tonnes. Uh, units travelling within atmosphere or on the space atm atmosphere interface cannot launch ASEW missiles. So these ones have to be even higher up than the others. Mm, so that okay. you, you have to actually be out of atmosphere. You have to be in space in order to launch these. Okay. So, so they must function in a certain way. Yeah. In, I, in space I, only sort of thing, not yeah. atmosphere. I, I think it's the electronics and things that are in there, all the, all the bits and bobs that are in the, the warhead, yeah. he said in quotation marks, um, would probably take too much interference from moving through atmosphere and up. So you launch them in space, so they hit and bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
just stood out because we've been doing the aerospace. Mm. But yeah, that was a bit of a quickie. Um, yeah. If you like the idea of those, feel free to chuck a comment down. But um, you guys stay groovy and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.